coming up. I knew I wanted to be an asset in the industry. When I left, I was a professional in the industry. Every job that I've had since I left has been a direct link to the program. It really prepared me to go to work. It was the smartest thing I've ever done. Learn how to become a certified ranch manager in nine months with minimal experience. Next on The American Rancher. Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. In the 1950s, a group of ranchers saw a need to educate future ag leaders in as many phases of the ranching business as possible. And in 1955, the first students of what is now the TCU Ranch Management Certificate Program gathered on campus in Fort Worth, Texas. Almost 70 years later, hundreds of program graduates have entered influential positions in almost every corner of the beef cattle industry. Today, we'll visit with some of those alumni and show you how TCU's Certificate of Ranch Management can open doors for you, even if you have only a limited experience in the beef cattle industry. This idea was started with a bunch of ranchers. Too many of the major colleges were specializing in individual degrees. So instead of having a degree in range or a degree in beef cattle science, they wanted something that would tie all that together. And one of those men uh, had a connection with TCU. And he made the comment to him, well, why can't it be at TCU? And the consensus was they didn't care where it was, they just wanted it. So they approached Chancellor Sadler at that time and explained to him what they wanted. He said, we can have it at TCU if you can come up with funding for it. There was a rancher in South Texas, wrote him a check for $50,000, and that's a pretty good hit in, in those days. And it was basically at that time called ranch training. And it evolved throughout the years from ranch training to ranch management. And it's still evolving today because the neat thing about it uh, this, the curriculum is not tied to, uh, to, to textbooks like most colleges are. They teach out of an outline, and if it's a new product comes out today, we can have it in the curriculum tomorrow. The program's really designed for <laughs> a young person to come out of there and have all of the basic skills that an absentee owner or a rancher could hire one of them and, and say, okay, come up with a plan of operation for me. They should be able to analyze all of this, the uh, resources that they have there available, evaluate the assets and the, also the liabilities, and put together an operational management plan for that place. And we require them to make it complete enough that an owner or someone they're working for could take a hold of it and look at it and actually put it into place. And it doesn't matter whether they came from a family, worked on a ranch, have a lot of experience, have minimal amount of experience. Because during the year, we're gonna expose them to all of the above, and they're gonna be able to utilize those to come up with that management plan. The program's nine months, and it's very intense. It's, it follows the normal two semesters in, in college, but it's different in the fact that the students go to school every day from nine till five, four. Each class is a three-hour session, and you have the same class from nine till noon, and then you'll have a different class from one till four. And if you're familiar with the college process, that's a week's worth in two classes. At the end of nine months, they get a certificate and we're certifying basically to the world that they're qualified to operate a ranch. Well, the biggest difference between a four-year degree and this one is time, because it takes a four-year degree four years. This one, designed by ranchers, bore that down to where this is what you need, this is what you need. They're not taking any classes that they don't need. You get a degree in ag finance, for instance, you're not gonna take anything probably in soils. You're not gonna take very much in marketing. Probably not take anything in sheep and goats. And I've talked to a lot of people over my career and we all agreed on the same thing. A four year degree never does teach you how to put all of that together to where you can make decisions. 
when I came, went to the program back early, uh, I had just graduated with a degree in business, a minor in economics, and one in psychology. And when I graduated, I didn't feel any smarter than I had been when I started. I'd heard about the program, but I didn't know very much about it. So I contacted Mr. Merrill, who was the director then, and he explained to me what it was. I went down, did the interview. He accepted me into it. I guess the thing that the program did for me that's really important, and it does for a lot of students, it gives them a degree of self-confidence. When I walked out of there, I was confident that you could blindfold me and drop me anywhere on the world and I could start ranching there. May not be the best one, but I'd be competitive of it. And it also gave me the exposure to all these different areas that I've wound up being you know, operating in. And it, it really prepared me to go to work. No question, best thing that ever happened to me. After the break. It's a whole lot easier with that certificate to get a job in the industry because of the reputation of the school and the program. From dream to reality, hear the stories of how five TCU ranch management graduates blaze the trail of their careers. Those stories when the American Rancher continues. Welcome back to the American Rancher. For almost seven decades, the TCU Ranch Management Certificate Program has launched influential careers for hundreds of graduates. The common thread between them is a burning desire for success, a deep passion for agriculture, and camaraderie that lasts a lifetime. So I grew up in Lubbock, Texas. My parents are in the home construction business, and I didn't have a whole lot of experience in agriculture until I was in high school. I started working for a friend of mine in Brownfield, Texas on a cotton and alfalfa farm. Uh, when I got to tech, I was a economics major. So about my sophomore year, I quickly knew that I wanted to be in the College of Ag Business and moved over to the College of Ag Business at Tech. Started taking ag classes from there. I uh, became a night man at Lubbock Feeders, which was a Coke feedlot in 1999. I didn't know anything about feeding cattle. I just had an opportunity to work at night and go to school during the day. Uh, started to develop a passion, started a doctor, got to ride pins a little bit, but mainly was on the doctor crew uh, and got the butt, you know, got the itch, right? Um, I had heard about the, the ranch management program. That's, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to that program at some point and I didn't know necessarily how to do it. In 2001, I left tech. I went into the uh, army. I was in the airborne infantry. In about January of 2005, I was accepted into the ranch management program for that August class, but I was still under stop loss in the U.S. Army. At that, at that point during the global war on terror, we were not allowing service members to leave the Army. So uh, a letter from Mr. Link to my commanding colonel at the time at Fort Polk, who was from Mississippi, read that letter, um, and he, he authorized through the commanding general of, of the base to allow me to leave. Uh, he thought it was a very special opportunity for me to be in that class. And my wife and I moved from, from Leesville to Fort Worth uh, in July and started the class in August. I was so focused on making sure that uh, I gave this program everything that I could that I didn't necessarily realize until years later that, that it, had, it had changed my direction in life enough to that every job that I've had since I left has been a direct link to the program. Upon graduating from the ranch management program, Chad took a position at Producers Livestock in San Angelo, Texas. From there, he managed a ranch in Montana, where he developed a plan that optimized the profitability of that operation. That business so sold, and I had met the, the general managers from Five Rivers uh, at a conference, and I'd always had a strong desire to work with people that are that are all front front focused and, and all moving in the same direction and and I thought this organization was and um, when I had the opportunity to come work for them I came here as a cattle manager at Grant County managed the cowboys the doctors and the shipping and receivers for a year um, then I got the opportunity to work in a mill which I never had uh, for 19 months I I made all the feed for the feed yard, and we also got to build the new batching system, which you saw. And at that time, uh, the company came to me and asked me if I wanted to be the general manager. 
here at Grant County Feeders, we've got 70 employees. We try to stock people here at about one to 1,300 head of cattle. We typically run between 92 and 95,000 head here at Grant County. Uh, we're feeding 3 million pounds a day. We're feeding somewhere around 33,000 bushels of corn a day, and we ship anywhere from 37 to 4,500 head of cattle to the packing house of Dodge every week. Frank McClellan and his son Matthew manage the T-Bar Ranch, a large Angus-based cow-calf operation just outside of Tohoka, Texas. Since I was a, a, a little kid, I've all, that's all I've ever wanted to do is ranch. I've always been attracted to this way of life and lifestyle, I, do, I love it. My grandfather ranched, my uncle and now my cousin still ranch in New Mexico. And, uh, which is where I grew up. And uh, when I got out of high school, I went to uh, junior college and then a university in Kingsville, Texas. And my counselor at the school, the really, the, he thought the best job for me was to work for the government. And I was not interested in that. I wasn't interested, I wanted to ranch. And I thought, well, if you're gonna ranch, go to learn about ranching at where the best program is. And that's what TCU Ranch Management is. It's, the, I think, the best program in the country. I didn't think I had a chance of ever going. Uh, anyway, I was encouraged to apply and got accepted. Being in the ranch management program has led me to this job eventually. The people that we work for are the Edwards family from Fort Worth and they've had this T-Bar Ranch since 1883, and they have operated it pretty much continuously since they've owned it. My wife and I moved here in uh, 1986, raised our family here. My son, Matt, uh, grew up here. It's the only place he ever knew, and he and his family moved back in 2016 to work with me. What has stuck with me for the last 10 years since I've gone through the program was the uh, the network of alumni, my classmates, uh, guys and, and ladies before and after me, and how close we've all become and, and, and how much we use each other uh, in this business. But having people like that that are so willing to help and share their knowledge and share their experiences and uh, uh, it's not like any other business that, that I know of. It's a whole lot easier with that certificate to get a job in the industry because of the reputation of the school and the program. It made a huge difference. I wouldn't have had any of these jobs without it. I'm, I'm almost certain. The family that I worked for before and this one uh, wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the TCU ranch management program and being able to work next to dad and be close to family and be just be out here. Um, I'm so great. I can't tell you how grateful I am for all of it. Up next. Nine months is not that long a time when you consider the impact that it will have on you for the rest of your life. An influential future in agriculture is just a phone call away. Details of how to apply for the TCU ranch management certificate is coming up here on The American Rancher. Stay with us. Welcome back to The American Rancher. History shows that a formal education is an important part of reaching your career goal. However, matching the right education to your goal can be even more important. Matching my career to my education, I just, I knew I wanted to be in this industry. Uh, I grew up in a ranching horse background, um, and I've always loved livestock and the cattle industry. I was more of the hired hand, you know, working for family, dad, you know. My mom passed away in 2009, and um, she was a huge part of the operation. It's one of those things that I, uh, 
wanted to step in and help. And so I was like, I need to figure out, <laughs> I need to learn this stuff because I don't have a clue. Uh, so that's when I started looking around um, at different options and the door kind of opened for the timing of it to happen. And so there's, there's a lot that goes into ranching and managing well and being um, profitable in it. And um, I wanted to be able to do that. I didn't, uh, I didn't want to be a poor rancher. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> You've got to know how to run a business. And so ranching is a business. If I wanted to be in the industry, then I needed to keep educating myself and, and getting more experience. So that I would be able to be an asset in the industry, no matter where I ended up or how I ended up. There's people that come to the program all the time looking for managers. And so, um, they, they put me in contact with the owner of the operation and that's how I ended up here was through the, through the TCU Ranch Management. It's a cow-calf operation. Uh, it's been in their family for 50 plus years. So it's, I'm very honored to be here. I came in uh, after uh, three generations of ranch managers and so I kind of broke the mold of not being a family member. I have had alumni on speed dial. <laughs> um, management is not about knowing everything. It's about managing your resources. And one of my greatest resources is the alumni and the people that I graduated with. If I have a question about something that, you know, I'm not as experienced in, I call one of the alumni and say, hey, you know, do you know anything about this? And if they don't, they put me in contact with somebody who does. So the program has benefited me so much. It was one of the greatest years of my life. Wayne Cockrell grew up in a small West Texas town with few options for employment after high school. He wanted to carry on the family's legacy in the cattle industry. And after graduating high school, he made decisions that propelled his future well beyond his expectations. I went to college and uh, graduated with a business degree. And, and then from there, I was basically just a cowboy with a college degree. And uh, that was what drew me to uh, the ranch management program, having known some, you know, some graduates of the program and having worked for a graduate of the program, just knew that the way that they looked at, at the ranching as a business uh, was, was different. And so uh, that's how I ended up at TCU Ranch Management. You get a really good mixture of both classroom experience, but more importantly, through the field trip, you get the opportunity to, to ask questions and to listen to, to people in the industry that, that will share with you things that they won't share with their banker or their wife or, or their, their parents or, you know, their, or their employer, you know, some of the mistakes that they've made and some of the things they've done right is uh, just a priceless opportunity that you do not get anywhere else at any other program in the world. About six weeks before graduation, had an opportunity uh, to interview with a family that owned a ranching farming operation in East Texas, and you know, interviewed, got the job, and so one week after graduation, I, I took over that operation as the, uh, as the general manager for it. Without the program, I would still just to be a, I'd be a cowboy with a college degree that never really used it and never knew how to use it, you know. When I left and walked out those buildings, I was a professional in the industry. You have a good foundation after graduating from here. I mean, it's about leadership, and it's about how to, uh, to conduct yourself, how to be an influencer within the industry and others that you work with. And, and not only that, but also be an ambassador for this program, because no matter what you, no matter what you do or where you go the rest of your life, everyone knows you as a ranch manager grad. The other thing with the, the, the ranch management program affords you is not just what you learn while you're here, it's the classmates that, that, that you have and the network with the alumni base to uh, you know, pick up the phone and call someone, ask, ask questions, do business with, with, with people. And 99% of the, of the of the cases, if they're a TC alumni, ranch management graduate, uh, you want to do business with them. We all have kind of the same DNA encoded into our fiber on how, how the right way to do business is. 
Nine months is not that long a time when you consider the impact that it will have on you for the rest of your life. The sky's the limit in agriculture. If it wouldn't have been for ranch management, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. The last day of school, Mr. Merrill asked me to come in his office, and I went in there and he says, was it worth it? And I said, it was the smartest thing I've ever done. It showed me how to take what I learned in a four-year degree and put it together to make decisions. Contact ranch management at TCU and tell them what you want. You can get a hold of them by email. You can get a hold of them by the telephone. We actually still answer telephones. We hope you enjoyed our show on TCU's ranch management program. That's all the time we have today. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. For our entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.